I'm Karen Whitman, a printmaker from Woodstock, New York, specializing in the linoleum block print. I usually make liner cut cityscapes. But when the coronavirus pandemic hit in early 2020, I was, as we all were, overwhelmed with the news and reality that a very serious illness was spreading around the world. I felt compelled to acknowledge it through my artwork and in so doing make a tangible statement that would be encouraging and unifying and would express gratitude toward all who were doing their part to eradicate the pandemic, including you and me. Based on the US $1 bill, it gives us a new spin on the power of currency well spent. The print, entitled Corona Cash, is an imagined currency of cooperation and generosity to support public and private efforts to end this global health crisis. The $1 bill theme was ideal for symbolizing the unified effort it would take for us to fight the pandemic together. I made an initial line sketch for Corona Cash to transfer mirror image to the block by drawing with a 4B graphite pencil and turning it over. I followed this sketch for the shading, a rough guide allowing the creative process to leave room for improvisation. For instance, I didn't initially have any lettering in the border of my sketch, but when I realized that I wanted to thank everybody for their roles in fighting the virus, I added thankful acknowledgments of them, and I was so glad I hadn't yet carved away that part of the linoleum. Here I am transferring my image onto my block, and I'm doing that by drawing through tracing paper. And the tracing paper has graphite on the other side. I have my tracing paper mirror image so that when it prints, it prints correctly. But as I put pressure on my line work, with the graphite on the other side, it will transfer my image to the block. And I have blackened my block so that I'll be able to see what I'm doing when I actually carve. I used an eighth inch wide V gouge for my thin cuts. The V-shaped point carves a channel into the linoleum, making a nice clean line. Then, I used a small, scooped gouge to clear the spaces in between. After searching the busy block, I found a place for my signature. I don't normally sign in the block, and it's not mandatory. But I decided to here, and the curved space gave it an interesting shape. It was important to keep it in character with the image, and it became an artistic element integral to the work. I didn't carve it as quickly as shown here, but it's important to keep the lines sure and fluid. And I always cross my T's and dot my I's. Voila, here's the finished block. The completed block shows how blackening at first with a marker helps you to judge the values and establish a balance between black and white. And this way, you won't have to proof the block to see what it will look like when printed. It is now time to print, which will bring the image back to its correct reading orientation. It's important to build the ink up slowly 
to avoid the ink filling in the recessed areas, and to apply the ink evenly and consistently from one print to another to prevent one side of the print from becoming heavier than the other. After a number of trial prints, I establish how much ink to grab by the roller, how many rolls in each direction, and how to adjust my pressure for the press for the ideal impression. Place the paper up against a guide that you've established for proper positioning over the block and roll the paper down slowly and carefully. Here I added an extra sheet of paper to further adjust the pressure. A piece of eighth inch masonite, smooth side down, distributes the pressure of the roller more evenly and protects the block from being mashed down by the pressure of the press, preserving the image for future printing. The print is a good one, and now I'm ready to print my edition of 150 prints. I don't have to print them all at once in one session, but this run is now ready to roll. I hope that you have found this video on the making of my block print Corona Cash interesting and that it will inspire you to be more hopeful and helpful regarding the coronavirus pandemic. I hope that someday very soon this print will simply be a vestige of a very trying time in our history, but until then, in at least some small way, it can help you to get through it, however the virus has affected your life. Who knows? Maybe it'll inspire you to be a printmaker something that has been helping me tremendously through this time. And it afforded me the opportunity to bring this print into the world. And for this, I am grateful. <laughs>